this isn't Scotland. And I know Scotland. I am Sir Robert from Doctor Who Series 2, Episode Tooth and Claw. Hey! Spicky! Where are you going? You keep moving for God's sake! Hello sir, come for the upgrade program have we? Lovely jubbly! No! I was told there was a werewolf that needs slaying. I forgot my gun! Oh, it does come up with some clever lies to get you folks in. Well, all I can really say is that your future lies over here. What the hell is that thing? That ain't no werewolf. What the hell is that? It's just a bit tall. Not the bloody sheet! What's behind it? Like I said. No. Finally managed to slip away from you, did that? Ah! Sorry. Um, I I thought you were I thought you were someone else. Do I want to know who you thought I was? At least sure. We have a date. You make it sound so innocent. No doubt, plenty of debauchery will be had. Oh yes. I, I mean, we'll we'll see what it needs to. You know. Well, I best give us some warning. Anyone who gets close to you gets burned. Oh, you melodramatic look. When will you accept that what I did was for the thrill of the game? It wasn't. It was purely to feed your ever-hungry ego with an easy victory. I could have died. But importantly, you didn't. So suck it up. I'm sorry. I'm so... So sorry. I wish I could believe that. Good luck with Miss Shaw. And, um, be careful with all those candles. Oh, relax. I know exactly what I'm doing. It begins. Oh, my giddy aunt. You know, you really need a new catchphrase, Trump. Shut up. Ah, 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 ah. It's going to be a good day today, I can feel it. So much for that. Right, I have to read a book or something, I don't know. Oh, great. Never mind, ignore the movie marathon. I guess we'll just play chess or punch each other or something. A new challenge arises. I'll get my things. Ha! Oh, what? Oh, shit! Oh my god! Did you see that? Really? Alright. Backup generators online. Why can't it ever be a happy colour? Uh, Bracewell report. Oh, is he gone again? Where does he keep disappearing off to? Right, Miss Shaw report. 
Uh, there appears to be a couple small signs of power throughout the road. I suggest emergency lockdown measures, sir. An excellent idea. I'll use the backup power to let folks know. Well, I hate to admit it, but you were right. This was the perfect time for candles. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Brigadier Colin Baker of Unit HQ. Due to the power fluctuations, we have decided to take emergency protocols. So, until power is returned, all doors will be locked tight, except for ours. Stay safe, and await further instructions. Brigadier Baker, out. Well, looks like you're stuck here till the power comes back on. Hello? Is there anybody here? It's just like those Doctor Who Road films. Oh, hello, Mr. Finch. I'm Mr. Crane, and if you'd like to step right this way for your chips, mm. you must try some. This dive. Oh, I'm gonna get louder every day. Uh, Plug track 200. Oh, yeah. Oh, good stuff. Having fun, the line. Mr. Clean. Uh, no, sir. Sorry, sir. Just, uh, can't resist. <laughs> uh, hey, Mr. Clean, where's my dark power? Uh, yeah, uh, terribly sorry about that, sir. You see, we were falling behind, so I took the liberty, as I know you like a tight schedule, as it were, uh, to add a few more chambers. But um, when I activated them, they sort of overloaded everything. Sorry. The unit fucks have activated lockdown procedures. It's now going to be a lot harder for the Cybermen to invade. Oh, come on, don't talk like that. You're Moffat. You've got the biggest brain in the bloody universe, as you keep saying. How could this plan fail anyway? I failed. I failed many times. Some here, some elsewhere. Do you hear me now, Mr. Crane? This time. This time I will. Oh, you are, sir? Ten minutes. Do you hear me? Ten minutes. I want them ready for transportation through the breach. All cyber units in attack formation. Quick march! You know, I'd do the whole I don't like it joke with your flat, but considering all the flats have the same layout and general furnishings, it, it wouldn't make uh, much sense, would it? Good thing I didn't make that joke. Was I making it now? Sort of. You, uh, you want a cup of tea? How are you going to boil it? It's an electric kettle. Good point. Do you, uh... Do you want a banana? Oh, yes, please. Oh, yes, a man of culture. <laughs> so, you can be nice. Takes a bit of doing, but I'll get there in the end. Oh, come on! <laughs> what, um, what are you exactly looking for? Someone to get the power back on. Can't say I trust all this quiet and darkness myself. But you're not fearful. Oh no. I mean, usually it's quite the opposite. Normally I dive right into the unknown, like Elsa. <laughs> but usually it's helpful to see first, so yeah. So you're searching for a torch? Not quite, no. I'm searching for. Aha! Small 
crystal. Well, unless that's part of an engagement ring for Liz Shaw when she arrives, I can't imagine that'll be terribly useful. This is power! <laughs> oh, wait, no, sorry. I got this. Here we are. <laughs> Gross, but yeah, it does the job. That will recharge in about two minutes. What's right? Do you want the last banana? Right. There appears to be only three places in the whole road that has power still. The first one's unit. Well, shock of all shocks. The second is Tom Baker's flat. Yeah, checks out. Yeah, Tom could be in the middle of a tornado and still get decent Wi-Fi. And the last one... No. Yeah. It's on tenant's floor. <laughs> right. Well, I guess we've got to split up then. I mean, one of them has got to be the key to turning the power back on. And then we can get back to the Bants. Bants will be saved at all costs. Yeah, I better go see Tenant. I mean, that boy, just in case he steps out of line, needs a firm slap hand. You are your fake mother's daughter. I'll enter unit then. I've learned to just leave Tom Baker to his Tom Bakerness. But hang on. I mean, the door's still locked, so how are we supposed to. That wasn't me. Meet you back here when the power's on! <laughs> And so I said to her, well, what are you going to do about it? And she shot me right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this line is terrible. <laughs> what a strange bat mitzvah. It was, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, Rosa. It's been a while. It's been longer since I've seen you two happy together. What's happened? Well, not to worry you, but we've had a few orange juices. Ugh, and tequilas, for the record. But, yeah, it's funny how a power cut can bring people closer together. Huddled. Around the light. Oh, how's that crystal coming along? Uh, a few more minutes and it should be recharged. Shouldn't need another burp too, so it's lucky for the ozone now. Ah, so that's what the blip was. Sick reference. What? Me and Chris split up to look for power so we can turn it back on. And because of that, signs pointed here. And you came for me. Well, might I say, an excellent choice, Miss Tyler. Hashtag not my tenant, otherwise, oh my god, yes. Anyway, uh, you've kept this crystal since, what, 2006? Oh, I stole all sorts from the set. <clears throat> well,. I say stole, I mean, it all ended up here anyway, didn't it? Well, I also stole a lot of stuff anyway, I didn't really know when to stop. <laughs> Clearly. Well, whilst Tenant's burp does its thing, we need a way of passing the timey-wimey, so... Rose, do you fancy a hobnob or something? Or my knob. For Rose, not you, sorry. Must you do that whilst I'm staring at your taut buttocks? Oh, enjoy the view, it's the best in the room. No offence, Rose. Oh, I knew I should have gone to unit. Can you use that to get one of the screens working? I want to see if Chris is okay. Three minutes and counting. You don't look well, Bracewell. Did Dordabella stand you up? Ah. Shut up! Struck a nerve, didn't I? Well, I'm sorry if I did. Um, heartbreak can be uh, tough. Uh, have no right standing where Alistair stood. Bracewell, what, what's going on? I was hoping that people would see you for the idiot you are and have you disbarred right away. Trump, Pertwee, you, Liz. He's grown on me. I mean, he's not perfect, but with practice... No! Your position should have been filled with someone with 
military experience. Let me guess, someone like you, Paisley? Well, it, it, perhaps. I'd like to see you try. You just might. Ten seconds. Until what? Until the invasion begins. Hold on, I thought you wanted unit control. But now you're, what, trying to destroy it? Make up your mind, man! <laughs> it won't be destroyed. I was insured a position. By who? Online. Not again. Okay, so you don't like it. Fine, I mean, we've chatted. We, we share worries. No offense. None taken. But... <laughs> We are friends! And I hope you're spared. Here come the ghosts. Hi! This kind of ship now belongs to the Cybermen. Taking one step into a new land and saying DC is mine now is not how you claim land, sir. Tell that to the British. <laughs> oh yeah, because the British Empire is still on top form, isn't it? We have a legion of thousands of Cybermen ready to set upon Doctor Who Road and you banter. Cybermen have a concept of banter. Alright. I'm so sorry about him. <laughs> I'm sure you can see now why I wanted him, you know, murdered. All humans will be taken for upgrading. Resistance will not be tolerated. Well, all except for me, of course. <laughs> I will repeat. All humans will be taken for upgrading. Resistance will not be tolerated. Uh, but, but, this, <laughs> there must be some sort of confusion. This, this wasn't the agreement here. The Cybermen made no such agreement. Uh, on the hand me, metal feet. Speak to your master. He'll tell you. We answer to no one. You answer to us. Oh, you'll be fine. You were insured, remember? You bastard! You'll pay for this! You and Moff! Moff? Can't be. I will now broadcast across Doctor Who Road. Open visual link. Oh. Hold that thing go any faster! If we do it now, the road stays plunged in darkness. We have to time it right. I am speaking on all BBC wavelengths. No. It's impossible. This broadcast is for Doctor Who World. Hadrick! Cybermen will begin to occupy every floor of this location. We need to get out of here now. Not on my watch, you're not! Class. It was never the best spin-off. Color and creed. You will become identical. You will become like us. Ace, I've changed my mind! Get the night through nine! No, Colin, please! Open this door! Point me in the direction of the door. It's time I told you the story of one hell of a bird. Uh, yep, yeah, straight ahead. I won't lie, I was expecting more. I ordered surrender. Run! Stop them! Stop them! Stop them! Chris! Go! We can't go back 
back in there. Where do we go? Chris said that Rose will be waiting for us. Yes, but he didn't say where. Well, uh, do you still have Rose's number from her birthday? Yes, I do. Uh, are you still there? Won't you twat? They will be taken for upgrading or they will be deleted. All cyber units will begin the invasion. If the humans will not come willingly, then they will be taken by force. Alright, first door on your left and then you're in. Come on, call him quick! He's right behind me! Ugh, someone lock it! Uh, yeah, no, that doesn't have a lock. What?! Get out of the way. In the hell have you been hiding that? Unit should have discovered and locked it away years ago. Not really my style. <laughs> so, battle plans. The Cybermen will have started their invasion, which means every flat is a target. Any resilience will be met with, well, deletion. And I think we all know that our fellow doctors and companions won't go down without a bit of fisticuffs. One, two, and a three. I'm good at boxing. Oh, goodness me, you don't like that. So that's what I've been hearing. I thought I was going mad. Well, madder than usual, but you get my point. They must be everywhere. Feeding off our power and transferring it straight to the Cybermen. We need to do something and do it now. You say that? But, oh, Liz, finish your sentence for me, I'm knackered. Yeah, you say that, but what is your plan exactly? Oh, didn't I mention? I have a plan. What is it? Hmm? Oh, right, yes, sorry, plan. Best weapons in the universe. DVDs! Arm yourselves! We have defeated the Cybermen multiple times on multiple planets. We just have to learn from ourselves and do it all over again. So, uh, spread out and start helping. Ah. I have Series 7. Who is that? I can't tell. Uh, that will be me, um... Uh, oh, obviously, one sec. James Corden, you're in there, I know you are. Do you hear that? No, no. That's your baby. That's little Storm again, Dark Lord of all. That'll undo a horrific upgrade. Listen. No, no. You hear it? Come on. Oh my god, you're right. I'll be. Voila. Look, the Cybermen didn't get much play in my era. Just be thankful it wasn't the overpowered Iron Man-y ones. What? Yeah, those ones. Sorry, uh, anyway. Shall we? How long is he? Geronimo! Uh, no clocks to ditch! You gonna be alright? Oh, I'll be fine. Ah, it appears the Tenant's Crystal mixed with the Cyberman's gloating from earlier has switched on the computer! So, I'll keep an eye on all of you from here. <laughs> we'll make a leader of you yet. Just get out, will ya? Why am I still alive? What are you not saying? You will be silent. Why? It is logical. No, it's not. I need answers. Right, question then. Is it logical to fill in the gaps of the Siberian's memory? Yes. Then let's help each other here. Huh? An answer for an answer. 
You tell me what I need to know and I'll give you the vital information of how to take everyone in this road out. What'd you say? You have this information. I'll even let you go first to prove it. How do we defeat Doctor Who road inhabitants? Not one at a time. Margo! I like Margo. Margo's much better. Who let you through? His name is not known. It is not required to be known. Alright, but you must have met him. What's he look like? It is not your turn. Oh, it's like playing go fish with a five-year-old. Go on then. Elaboration required. As per your previous answer, how do we squash the rebellion? You don't do it one at a time. You've got to get them all at once. Margo again! Describe who let you through. He hey! Upgrade this. So uncivilized. I apologize, but I'm rather sick of these things. Mark Gatiss! I haven't seen you since phase two. Moffat's Revenge, yes. It's been a long time. I'm from the original road. Another one. Another survivor! Yes! This is amazing! Wait, who else escaped? Is there more? Wanna see? See what? Wait, no! Muto dead, eh? Oh, I love being so preferential. Ah. Don't worry. This part of the cyber factory is off the maps. Thanks to me. Take me back! There's a full-on cyber invasion happening! Hey, Chris? Yeah? Shut up and look out the window. Still here. I thought I raised him. Look, we don't have long. He can see when interdimensional jumps are made. So, here we go. Exposition dump time! Grandfather, I've clogged him. I think I need to visit the loo again. Fair enough. Right, uh, back to bed. I never get any blessed sleep around here. Right. You do understand that if they get through this fortification of yours, um. then we get horrifically upgraded, yes? Very much so. Hence why I've done something about it. What's your excuse? Uh, lack of practice. Thanks, BBC. Come on, Cybermen in unit would have been sick. Here we go.
もうゴッチャッジェイはい。It's a long. I'm gonna go. There's probably more people that need my help. Cha cha! Okay, what the p. Just a little bit more. The cyber factory will be in worse shape than Peter K. Circa 2006. Reference again. <laughs> I watched back everything that happened the day you left. On Chibnall's secret little camera thingies. Where the hell was he hiding those? I looked everywhere for him. I, I, I knew he had some, but I just couldn't find them. Inside the Ood's corneas. Dear God. Who never have happy stories, do they? Stay focused! After you left and everything transpired, the BBC cut off all access to the road, to and from. So, people like me who survived. Was stuck until he returned. But how? He died. We all saw it. It seems that instead of inflicting large amounts of damage, John Hurt's gun merely teleported him elsewhere. Never really explained, though. Just got to work building this place. But it doesn't make sense! At least we have each other. Allies against Moffat. He's been a prat to both of us, so. What say we take him down once and for all? <laughs> no, no! You didn't have to kill him! You will be taken to cyber conversion. You know. Funny you should say that. Scan me for cybernetics. This isn't possible. That's right. Many years ago, I grappled with your kind and I was upgraded. Luckily, all the nasty niggly bits are gone. But you have just reminded me of the one remaining attribute. Zap! I cannot believe I forgot about that! Alert! Alert! Rogue element in unknown sector. He must be deleted. I'm sorry about this case. Delete! 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 Hmm. So you were alive this whole time. Not anymore, though. Cheers, Cyberman. You didn't last long, though, did you? Bananas. Eccleston. It's too early! Shit. What do you think is going to happen, Professor? I don't know. Chances are it'll be a reference to Silver Nemesis, so we know it can't be good. All humans will be taken. You will die, you big silver dickhead! Hey! 
this? <laughs> uh, what was your name? It appears you're out of time. Silver Nemesis reference! What was all that about? Nothing. Uh, suddenly not anything important. Anyway, let's uh, burn the body! Burn the body! Oh, hell yeah. My help is not needed. Let's show away! Capaldi, I, I love the energy, I do, but you've not even made a dent, mate. Is there not even a crack? No. Here we go. No! Oh! Oh, bloody hell! <sighs> A Mondasian Cyberman! Uh, it's, it's not. Oh, is it not? Oh, oh well. You're still blind then. Oh, my God! Oh. As opposed to these two cunts. Oh dear, Doctor. What have you gotten yourself into here? Looks like you might need some help there, lad. Shame that all you've got is Captain Rubberface in there. Oh, shut the flux up. Who are you talking to? I think, yeah, I think my vision's coming back to me. Do you need a hand? Hey, well done, all of you. Oh, it's good to see you back. I mean, admittedly, you all didn't help that much. Everyone oddly seemed to have everything under control, but you know what? It's the thought that counts. We all did it. Chris, oh, I knew you'd be all right. Moffat's alive, my Moffat, the evil one. I don't know where he is, but no one is safe. I don't know his plan. Uh, well, shit, what, what do we do? I don't know. It's worth it, Commander. I'm all to get. He's been using the old road, it's still there. Look, we need to regroup. I can't fix it. Where did they come from? It's Shaw. Protect the party. Everybody calm down. What's going on? 